Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabaji. And today's scripture comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8, and it reads as follows. I am Yahuwah, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Let me introduce myself. Here in this passage of scripture, it says, I am Yahuwah. That is my name. <laughs> in other words, don't get it mixed up. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. Stop calling me by all of these other names. Yahuwah is my name. And then it goes on to say, and my glory will I not give to another. In other words, stop giving the credit, the praise, and the worship that belongs to me, Yahuwah, to other people. And it says, neither my praise to graven images. In so many ways, we have fallen into this category where we have given the praise and the worship and the credit and the reverence and the high esteem that belongs to Yahuwah. We have given it to other people. And that is something that we must not do. And we have called Yahuwah by other names too. And we have got to understand that he wants to be addressed by his name. He doesn't want to be called by another name. <laughs> That's just like somebody coming up to you and calling you by a name that is not your name. Well, guess what? Yahuwah doesn't want to be called by somebody else's name. And at different points in times, throughout history, Mankind has been calling Yahuwah by another name. And he's saying here, let me introduce myself to you. I am Yahuwah. That is my name. So we don't have to get it twisted anymore. We don't have to get it mixed up anymore. That is his name. And if we are given the credit, the high esteem, the, the honor, the praise, the worship to someone else, we better get that right too. And we better start giving the praise and the worship to Yahuwah. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have little st little wooden statues, you know, set up in my house or what have you. Ah, those are not the only things that are graven images. We have so many things in our lives that have captured our hearts. Things that we stare at. Things that have taken our attention, things that we have devoted our time and our talent and our treasure to more than we have Yahuwah. And so we've got to take the time to really check and make sure that we don't have graven images that we are praising and worshiping instead of Yahuwah. And I know that, that it's, a, it's a very fine line 
because everybody has their favorite celebrity and everybody has their favorite, you know, sports team or their, you know, their favorite athlete or what have you. But you've got to, we've got to make sure that we're not falling into the area of praise and worship and that those people and those things and those activities, the cars that we have, the houses, the lands, the, the things that we like to participate in, that they become graven images to us. And before we know it, we are falling into the sin of idolatry because we put those people and those things and those activities before Yahuwah. And it's not that hard to fall into that. All of us at different points in times have fallen into that sin of idolatry. And we always like to put it in the context of somebody just bowing down to, you know, some statue. But we, we bow down all the time in different ways and in different forms. And that all that time and that energy that we give to the celebrities, to the television shows, to the movies, to, to the internet, to our phones, to our tablets, to our computers, to our, you know, virtual reality, all of those things, the social media become graven images if we allow them to consume our hearts and our minds and ultimately our lives. They, become, they end up taking the place of Yahuwah, who should have the first place in our lives. So take the time to really go over this passage of scripture. If you don't know who Yahuwah is, who the Most High is, what his name is, he says, I am am Yahuwah. That is my name. And you've got to remember that he's not going to give his high esteem to another person. He's letting you know. He's not going for it. And he's not going to go for you or me or anyone <laughs> giving what rightfully belongs to him to someone else. And he doesn't want us giving praise and worship to other people and other things. We can't allow other things and other people to become graven images in our lives. So we need to do a spiritual inventory to see where we are in relationship to this verse. And if you didn't know who the Most High Yah is and what his name is, he says right here, I am Yahuwah. That is my name. He's introducing himself to you by name. So, marinade, let that marinate in your mind. Pray about it. Meditate on it. And allow the Most High Yah, Yahuwah, to introduce himself to you if you've never come into a relationship with him through Yahushua HaMashiach. Or maybe you've been drifting away from him. And maybe you've allowed some other people and other things and other activities to become graven images in your life. And you've been giving more time and investment into those things and praise and worship and high esteem to those people and to those things instead of Yahuwah. 
This is an opportunity for you to get this right in your life and start getting to know Yahuwah by name and start giving the high esteem to him and start giving praise and worship and adoration to Yahuwah today. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom.